All right, Sal, this is your kids. Black Star, look at that. There we go. Black Star HT60 Mark III. It had blown a fuse, Chinese tubes, likely culprits. It blew the 630 milliamp fuse there. And just for anybody's edification who intends on working on one of these, no output tube current will flow unless you have a plug inside of this quarter inch input jack. It's got a little safety defeat circuit there, so. All right, and here's an example of that input safety circuit. There's no current flowing. You can see that right there. There's your input. Watch this. See that? All right, we are dealing with a severely mismatched or out of balance bias circuit. You're looking at, wow, 12 milliamps from one side to the next. So it's like, where do you go? You're looking around here and then you see something. Clearly they want to be able to bias this without removing the chassis. So you have a jack for your bias probe over at the factory. And then it looks like we have an indicator here. This LED seems to be indicating that this lower tube here is either out of balance or drawing too much current, which it's not, it's not doing a ladder. And given this plate voltage in 30 milliamps would be the sweet spot. So let's see if we can rein this thing in and find a suitable balance for these and maybe get that light, that LED indicator to turn itself off. Bye. Now, there's still some wiggle there. This is where I would personally have it. But look what it's telling us. It's liking, it's liking the balance. So the lower potentiometer here is for balance from tube to tube for the bias. And then this is for the actual level itself. Now it's telling me that the factory wants this a little bit cooler than 34 milliamps. So let me bring her down to say 29 and see what she does. The factory wants this thing below 29 milliamps of plate current. And that puts it right around the 60 percentile mark for maximum plate dissipation for these. So uh, the six uh, CA7s, that is. This is one happy amp. And it's a good thing too, because there's not really any user serviceable parts, rather uh, even technician serviceable parts in there. It's um, a lot of surface mount construction. And I think the little power two breakout board looks like it has some reasonable <laughs> components on it. But anyway, uh, let's get her um, set up for a, a sound test. And then before you get cocky and think you're all done, you're going to want to throw it on the six watt mode and make sure that the bias is in range when it's in the low power setting via this little trimmer here. Where's my finger? That little guy right there.